Hello, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to check out a video by Rahul titled as The Story Behind Second Biggest IPO Crash Paytm Stock Analysis. Let's jump to the video. Hi friends. Warren Buffett acquired Paytm stocks at an average price of roughly 1297 rupees and today the Paytm stock is trading at 800 rupees per share he is sitting at heavy losses Paytm karo he invested almost 300 million dollars for a stake of roughly 2.6% at that time and still holds roughly 2.46% stake in the company as you can see on my screen. What really puzzles me is that when a company that is consistently making losses as you can see on my screen, why would a legendary investor like Warren Buffett will invest in such a company? In this video, I will tell you the story of the fall of Paytm as a stock and also will show you details of what Ashneer Grover had to say about it, what Mr. Vijay Kedia had to say about it and the future prospects of this stock. Vijay Shekhar Sharma founded Paytm back in 2010 as a mobile recharge company. You won't believe that. Paytm is much more than that today. Let me straight come to Paytm's IPO. That was the second largest IPO in the history of India's stock market. 18th November 2021, when the stock was first listed on the stock exchange, IPO worth rupees 8,300 crores and offer for sale for roughly 10,000 crore rupees. And this offer of sales consisted the sale by their CEO Vijay Shekhar Sharma for roughly around 402 crores. So the first key takeaway here is that their CEO Mr. Vijay Shekhar Sharma minted crores of rupees while investors lost crores of rupees. Well, not all of them. The first listing day of the stock was down by almost 27% and it has never gone back to its listing price levels. What has caused this fall? Let me quickly tell you. 22nd November 2021, the anchor investor sold their stocks after the 30 days lock-in periods was done. They would have minted crores of rupees, but the stock prices fell by almost 8% in one single day. God only knows at what prices these anchor investors acquired the stock, but if I was a betting man, I would say that they would have minted crores of rupees and they exited as soon as the 30 days lock-in period was done and dusted. So the second key takeaway here is that not only the CEO, Mr. Vijay Shekhar Sharma, minted crores of rupees, Anchor investors also made crores of rupees, leaving the retail investors in misery. Within a month, the IPO was declared as a failure and when the question was asked to their CEO that, do you consider this IPO overpriced? He did not say yes, read the comments here, but clearly it was overpriced. The misery did not stop there and the share prices continued to fall because of their loss making IPO quarter. If you look at my screen, you will see that their losses was 778 crores in the IPO quarter versus to 482 crores in the previous quarter. 16th February 2022, Paytm started to offer the loans to merchants for up to 5 lakh rupees. But the question comes, why did Paytm started diversifying their business? It is very simple. Their payment business was not profitable at all. As you can see, their take up rate was only 0.4%. What is take up rate? It is simply the commission that they make on the payments that is made on the platform. So the third key takeaway is that whenever a business like Paytm or any other business boasts about millions of customers, billions of transactions, what we need to really look at the profitability. It is as simple as that. And then comes another screaming big news that their CEO Mr. Vijay Shekhar Sharma was getting ESOPs, employees stock options. The ESOPs that were granted to Vijay Shekhar Sharma was at around 3.2% of the stake of the company. And just to put this in context, he could exercise these stocks at a mere price of 9 rupees per share. Investors now started to ask this question, when will this company become profitable? And for this, Goldman Sachs projected that it is going to be at least fiscal year 2026. Meanwhile, the stock prices was continuing to fall and it came to roughly rupees 672. And the main reason reason here was that RBI banned the Paytm bank to onboard new customers. Apparently during an IT audit RBI found that the company was leaking some customer data to the Chinese firms to which Paytm responded very very quickly that we are not sharing any data with Chinese. In fact the data is say, safe and secure but by then the damage was already done because the share prices were falling like a free flow rain. Irrespective of what was the truth the point remains that RBI had imposed a ban on Paytm the second time. They also did it in year 2018 because of the lapses in the KYC of the customers. The fourth key takeaway here is that the fintech businesses like Paytm are highly regulated businesses and risk of violating a single rule can send the stock prices to the rock bottom. 17th March 2022, Ashneer Grover tweets, buy. 
You can see on my screen, this is extremely irresponsible. How can such a big influencer post buy, direct buy recommendation? He can talk about valuations and throw those fancy numbers, but recommending in a public forum saying buy a particular stock is highly irresponsible because it can send so many novice investors to the loss making path. Also see these numbers, they're only talking about valuations, valuations and valuations. Where is the profitability in this? Around the same time, Aditya Puri of HDFC Bank commented this and this is an extremely important statement because it sums up the reason the core reason of the growth for paytm's customer numbers 17th may 2021 investors start to lose the faith in the company and jack ma exits the company the ceo vijay shekhar sharma comes out in the public and makes a statement that the company will be profitable by september 2023 and in fact he releases a letter to the shareholders that the company will be profitable and then only i will exercise my options the stock options he in fact releases a letter to the shareholders that his stock options will be vested only if the company becomes profitable desperate to make the company profitable paytm then enters into general insurance business also they start charging convenience fee on their platform 18th june 2022 another twist in the story the ceo of the company starts to buy the shares from the market and he buys roughly 1 lakh 70 thousand shares at an average price of roughly 647 this seems to be a very good business that you release your share to the public at 2000 rupees and start to buy it back when the price has dropped to 647 levels. This is why precisely on 12th of August 2022, IIAS which is Institutional Investors Advisory Services demands for Vijay Shekhar Sharma to be removed from CEO post. However, Vijay still retains the post of CEO. 21st November 2022, this is where the Paytm stock hits the lowest price which is 465. There were two reasons for it. Number one, SoftBank declared that they are going to sell the shares worth rupees 200 million dollars. And the reason number two, Announcement of Geo Financial Services has seen as a big threat to the company, therefore the stock prices fell to its lowest level. To sum it up, Paytm's IPO was declared the worst IPO not only in India, actually across the world. However, from November 2022, the stock has been rising and now, right now, it is trading at an 800 rupees level. So what has caused this growth now? 9th December 2022. Paytm announced that they are going to buy back the shares and the maximum price they will go is up to 810 rupees per share. Reason number two, Paytm Payment Bank finally gets a clearance from RBI to operate. Reason number three, 7th of February 2023, the losses started to come down from roughly 778 crores to 392 crores for the quarter ended December 2022. Again, quarter 4 of 2022, the losses came down to roughly 168 crores from previous 392 crore rupees. On the back of the reduced losses, BOFA securities upgrade the rating and the stock prices goes up by almost 8%. Now comes the million dollar question. Will the share prices continue to grow further and is there an opportunity for us to invest any money? For that, the first consideration is when is this company actually likely to become profitable? For that, if I show you my screen, you will see that what analysts are predicting or estimating right now is that fiscal year 2024, their earning per share will still be in negative. While in fiscal year 2025, the earnings will go up in the positive first time. And also by the end of fiscal year 2026, we will see something like 20 rupees per share as positive earnings. The second factor is the risk associated with Paytm stock. What you will see on my screen is that SoftBank has been selling the stock consistently. And even on 18th of July, they still hold roughly 10% of the stock. So there is a danger that whenever SoftBank sells the stocks, the price will come down heavily. The third key consideration is Geo Financial Services business proposition. And that is the biggest threat to Paytm's growth. And finally, Mr. Vijay Kedia sums it up beautifully. What he says is that, I do not invest in shares where there is no predictability. I'm not interested in investing in stocks like Paytm and Zomato at any price. This is phenomenal. This is a really, really big statement. And to a great extent, I support Mr. Vijay Kedia's comment here because until this company becomes profitable, as an investor, I have more than 4,500 stocks on the stock exchange that I can explore and find out the profitable stocks. The intent of creating this video is not to defame anybody. It is my personal opinion backed by the research that I have done. Please feel free to take your own positions. Also, I would love to create similar videos on LIC, the biggest IPO, as well as Zomato, which is very similar IPO, which has failed badly. 
let me know in the comments if you would like me to